we've created a brand new spreadsheet. We'll enter here the headings for the columns, but this will be deleted when we actually save it. This will just be for your information. In the first column, we'll put the first name. The next column, I go there by hitting tab, we'll put last name, phone number, a comment, a location for where we met the contact, and we'll put in the email address of the contact. When you hit enter, you'll see it goes back here to the beginning. We'll use the name first name 11 for the first contact. Hit tab. We'll use last name 11 for the next contact. We'll have a phone number, just an arbitrary phone number. We'll call it 704-444-0001. And that'll be our first phone number. Hit tab again. And we'll call the comment, comment 11. We've decided to use three different locations. We'll call this location 1. And we'll use the email address for this person as test11 at realtoolsforpros.com and hit enter. You'll notice here that the email address turned into a hyperlink, which is the color blue when underlined. When I put the cursor over it, you'll see that it says mail to test11 at Real Tools for Pros. Once I click that, it will actually open up my mail program and then a new email will be created with this as the to information. You'll notice also now that the information is not visible all the way across. We can go in and on each of these columns and either grab here between the columns. When it goes from a down arrow to a line as you cross between the column headings, you would hold the left mouse button down and just move it over to expand it over. Another way to do it is when it goes between here and turns into that line down, you can double click here with the left mouse button and it'll expand to the size of that information that was input. Or you can left click here where the column and row headings meet and that will highlight everything. Then once you place the cursor between any two columns and double click then all of the columns will expand to encompass the longest information in that column. Once we have this first line, then you just repeat putting in the information for the other contacts. We'll create 10 contacts here, and we can do this automatically on these columns by highlighting them. If you hold the left mouse button down, on this little block here in the bottom right hand corner, once you see it turn from a large cross to a small cross, if you grab the left mouse button and just drag it down, then you'll notice that everything increased by one as it came down. So now we have the users from first name 11 to first name 20 and on to location 1 to location 10. But we're only losing, using three locations, so we'll highlight the first three locations, right click and say copy, and then we'll right click here and paste it here. We'll click here and paste this here, and in the last one, we'll just come up here on the formula bar and call this location 2. That way we have only one, two, and three locations. Over here, this will not increase because this number is over inside of it. So we'll have to manually input these down, but we can put our basic information here. If I don't want this to go to my email program, I will click down on the left mouse button and hold it. When you see, I hold it. As you see from holding it, it then changed to a large cross. Once I let go of it, you'll notice I now have in this bottom right hand corner my tool that I can copy down with. So once it changes to a small cross, I'll hold my left mouse button down, drag that down, and now I have this 
create it all the way down. So now I'll just go back up here, hold that down. Now you'll see test 11 at Real Tools all the way down. I'll just go up here in the formula bar, click this, call that 12, hit enter, go down to the next one, change that to 13, enter 14, enter 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Enter. Now I've created 10 users with all of the information not being the same and with 10 new email addresses. Now this information here that we had at the top for our information will delete that by deleting the entire row. When I put the cursor over here in the row header you'll see that it changes to a black arrow. Once I left click this the whole row highlights. If I hit the delete key then the information will be deleted but if I want to get rid of the entire row I would right click on it and click here on delete with the left mouse button and now the whole row will be gone and the first row will now be our first user. From here I'll click file and save as or I could just click on the save icon here or I could go into file and expand it down and click save here or, or, or I can click control s either way. We'll save it. When this comes up we'll call this excel file my users underscore 11 to 20 and hit enter. When I go back to file and save as and go across you'll see now we have the Excel file my users 1 to 20 created.